Dear students, in this unit, we will talk about the largest class of phylum mollusca, which is cephalopoda. The cephalopods, they are active marine predators, which means that they spend their life in the oceans and they prey their organisms. They prey on the other organisms for their food. So they are very active predators. They use their tentacles to grasp the prey, they grasp them, they hold them tight and they bite them with their beak-like jaws and they immobilize them with the help of certain poisons which is present in their saliva. Now, the foot of the cephalopods that has modified and become a muscular siphon and it has become part of their tentacles. Now, squids, octopuses, and nautiluses are the examples of this cephalopoda class of phylum mollusca. When we talk about the special characteristics of these class, their mental, it covers the visceral mass of these organisms, but their shells of these cephalopods is reduced as compared to other classes of phylum mollusca and it is reduced and uh, either it is internal or it could be missing altogether in species just like in uh, octopuses. In octopuses, there is no mantle covers. But when we talk about the nautiluses, you can see that it is in a reduced form of this mantle is present. It is not present on the entire body just like we observe in the class bivalva. Now, only one small group of cephalopoda with external shells or the chambered nautiluses, it survives today as you can see in this diagram. When we talk about the circulatory system, they have closed circulatory system and the blood remains separate from the fluid in the body cavity. In the earlier phyla, when we talk about their uh, circulatory system, it was open circulatory system, which means the blood was bathing the internal organs or the tissues of that organism. But here we say that it's separate system, which means it's a closed circulatory system and it stayed separates from the fluid inside the body cavity. The example of uh, octopus, you can see that these are the tentacles of octopus which are the specialized modifications. They have well-developed sensory organs and they have very complex brain. Complex brain is present here and you can see the eyes of octopus as well. Now, the members of this class, they are very fast swimming predatory animals. It means that their speed is quite phenomenal as compared to the other classes of this phylum. Now, their mouth is surrounded by tentacles or arms. These could be eight in octopod or 10 in squids and as many as 90 in the chambered nautilus animals. The large head has well-developed eyes as you can see on this octopus and it immediately forms images which is very much similar to vertebrate eyes and their functions. Now, the other adaptations of cephalopods that includes confusing the enemy by rapidly changing colors, by expanding and contracting specialized cells in their body, which is called as chromatophores, which is present on their skins, and they contain different pigment granules, which help them in changing the color to avoid either their own prey or just to hide from their prey. So they can easily hide themselves. When the prey comes near, they can easily grab them and eat them. Now, another adaptation which is present in them is the presence of a sac which contains ink inside it. It produces a thick black liquid or the ink which releases in the dark cloud whenever this organism feels threats or when it is alarmed. 
it results in the confusing and blinding the enemy temporarily and this organism in the meantime can escape swiftly from that place.